What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of TNP Limitless. Currently, we're in the middle of a pretty significant adventure. But before we get into that, I, want, I just want to address the fact that I know I have not uploaded pretty recently. But don't worry. I'm finally done with college. Or not done with college, but done with the semester. So I can actually uh, record a little bit more than usual. So. There should be a little bit more content coming soon, and it'll the the this will probably come out before everything else. But I have some Roblox content, and I guess uh, a an episode of Dawncraft with uh, with my good friend. So keep on lookout for that. You don't want to miss it. It was super hectic. Died so many times, but. Enough of that. We're playing Team Bilamillas today, so let's keep our focus on that for now. Currently, I'm in the middle of trying to go to the end because I need a lot more Ender Pearls. And I tried to go to the Nether, and I did find a Warped Forest, but unfortunately, it didn't seem like any Endermen wanted to spawn. So, the best bet for me would be to probably go to the end because I can get guaranteed ender pearls there. So I guess we'll see how we're gonna get into it. Let's 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 do it. Alright, so currently right now I only have four ender pearls and I've turned those into eyes of ender. Um and it's said to go somewhere off in this direction. I don't know exactly how far it's going to be. It could be thousands of blocks, it could be a hundred blocks, but... Only one way to find out. Um... So yeah, I had enough materials to build the quarry. The, the quarry plus here. But I decided that... It would be probably more efficient or I guess it would be more convenient if I actually went to the end to get the ender pearls because if I used the ender pearls on the quarry instead of using it on getting to the end then I would have zero ender pearls left over whereas if I were to go to the end first I could get an infinite number of ender pearls pretty easily so that's what I've decided to do is we're gonna go to the end. Um, I don't know if we're gonna kill the Ender Dragon. I did have glass smelting back at my base so that I can make some bottles to capture the, uh, so that I could capture the Dragon's Breath because we definitely need to make some end shelves because those are going to be super important. Because uh, I can't actually get... Uh, at my at the current level of our uh, enchanting table, I can't actually get... Uh, Silk Touch. So I can't collect... Uh, I can't collect the... I can't collect the, 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 the spawners around my base that I've, the couple spawners that I've seen so far. And I would like to end up building a mob farm so that I could not only uh, farm experience from that, but I can also farm, uh, I'll also be able to farm uh, Inferium Essence, because that's also another way of getting it. Okay, we're still going in the same direction. Nice. We haven't had a single break yet. I've only thrown two, so... Uh... Guess I didn't bring enough wood with... I didn't bring any wood with me, so... Or a boat.
So yeah. I hope your day is going pretty well. Depending, I mean, whatever, whenever you're watching this. And with the uh, semester of college over, I am definitely looking forward to recording a lot more. Yeah, I've been relaxing for about a week. After college was over, so, or col uh, so, so the semester was over, so. We're definitely, I'm definitely in the mood now to do some recording, as you can obviously see. Yeah, see, I only get a broken spawner. Whoa, whoa. Wow, okay. Now that is a pretty powerful, uh, it's a pretty powerful chest right there. Jeez. Um, I've got another 500 blocks. It still wants us to go that way. Where? in this direction so I yeah I guess I'll uh, catch y'all up later once I actually somewhat get closer to it so until then well we uh, <laughs> I just dug right into it. it wasn't too much further than I stopped it it was about maybe like um let me like Five to seven hundred blocks away from where the from where I last where we last left off. And um, I would like to I guess go over my I guess some of the future plans for Whoa Go over my future plans for this uh this uh, mod pack so I guess first off we're definitely I definitely want to do at least like I don't know get to around half of the mods in this mod pack before I stop now once I get to about 50% of this mod pack complete then I might go further depends on what I how I feel at that point but uh, till then yeah, that's my plan is to do about at least 50% of this huge kitchen sink mod pack of what I want to do. Oh, massive. Infinity, damn. Hmm. I 
I have a lot more ring slots. Six more intervals, let's go, huge. Now we have nine eyes of ender and hopefully there's three eyes of ender already in the thing. It's pretty unlucky. To get zero. But it's also pretty unlucky to get more than four. <laughs> I think we're probably going the wrong direction. Ouch. Ouch. Stop. This place is just a massive maze. Part of the golem. Plus four armor points. Whoa. Super resistance, basically, to almost anything. That's not that crazy. 16 armor points is only it's only eight armor bars. It's only eight bars of armor. Which is way weaker than what I currently have. What slot does that good spellstone? It's just a passive ability. Okay, so I have four extra armor points. I have 25 melee resistance and 100% knockback resistance. And I am immune to pressure and pricking damage. I don't know what pressure damage is. But I can't die to a cactus, which is nice. Golden apple, that's pretty nice. Spider drop. Another midnight robe. Can I do I already have one of these? I do not. There we go. An extra armor point never hurt. Another flawless gem of the warlord. Pretty huge. Eye of the Nebula Spellstone gives a 40% magic damage increase, 65% magic damage resistance, and a 15% chance to teleport away from any attack. After using the active ability, it teleports you behind the creature you're looking at. Your next attack, it uh, deals 150% extra damage, which is 2.5 times. Immunity to damage from using Ender Pearl. You're immune to Ender Pearl teleportation damage. When in water, you are vulnerable to any damage. Mm. There's another one of those. A horse flute. Is that just summon a horse? Phoenix Fire, that's a special spell book. What? Oh, it's a touch spell. I see. So I have to touch what I want to damage, I guess. What? Huh? 
wonder if this nether portal <laughs> or end portal, sorry. Wow, ring of strength. What? I guess I have permanent strength one. That's another golems. Gem of the Earth, Ancient Compass. If that's an ancient tome for efficiency, that's massive, actually. Magic Mirror. I definitely would not want magic. What the? Oh. oh. I got a trophy for that. Cool. Uh, a power book. That's pretty cool. Cat. Ooh. A tyrannical gem. Alleviating? Heals user upon collection. Oh, heals? Whoa. That's pretty cool. I don't think you can wear multiples of these rings. No, you cannot. More fragment. Right. Okay. Gem. Not insane. Another two nebulous hearts. I definitely have way more than enough now. It's literally nowhere. There's no way it's even further down. No. Yeah. Jeez, this place is just a giant maze. And I... Oh, there it is. It's on this side. There we go. Um. And we had four on there to begin with. Yeah. What? You shouldn't even be able to spawn. Okay, my backpack's kind of full, but I think we're okay. Actually. Ow. Let me go and put a waypoint here. And then go back real quick and grab all this glass. And then I'm gonna make. Actually, I should grab those ender pearls real quick. <laughs> okay. 
And then we go back to the end portal here. There we go. And then hop right in. Let's see, did they change the end? Um. Okay, I was like... <laughs> is there even an end island? But yes, there is. Wow. I can't see anything. What is that? Oh. Interesting. Wait, a draconic bee. How tall is this tower? Jeez, okay. I can probably raise my render distance up a little bit at the end. There we go, I can actually somewhat see in here now. I don't have a ranged weapon. Which makes this... Quietly difficult. This is severely damaging my armor, but that's okay. Interesting. I didn't know the dragon could hit itself with its own fireballs. Every other one was only doing like two and a half hearts of damage. That one just did 20 hearts of damage for some reason. Very interesting. Okay. I. Oh, I guess ghostly shape gives me night vision for some reason. Cool. Oh, now my inventory is all messed up. Oh, I guess I have ender pearls. <laughs> That's so much easier to just use the ender pearls that I have. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, no. I went way too far. Ah, no. A phantom? What? Ow, ow, ow. 
okay. Oh, that was not even close. Okay. 220 HP. That's quite a lot. And I have no more Ender Pearls, so I guess I'll have to just jump off. Give me an Ender Pearl. There we go. Oh. Stole my Ender Pearl. Ooh. Okay, just one more. Oh wow, I did not expect him to die instantly. That's not even close to high enough. It's not far enough. Ow. Ouch. Wow. Just barely on the edge. Wait for him to. What? Oh my. I just got a. What? I just got a legendary weapon from a Enderman kill? Okay. Sir, you can not do that. Gives me 20% boosted speed when I wield it. That's crazy. Whoa. Yeah, I don't know why, but for some reason I didn't take fall damage. You. Why are you magnetic? Oh my god. Ha is there two of you? 
No, he's just super fast at attacking. You, you're only like 160 out of 220 HP, bro. Oh my god, you're not even half dead yet. Ouch. No, come back. Then when we get back to the base, I can then... I didn't realize that. That wasn't 20 hearts that, that crystal exploded. That was 30 hearts that, that crystal exploded. That's even more ridiculous. Oh. What? I just, what? I just got netherite boots from, I think, an enderman drop. Elastic, okay, sir, you need to stop. Oh, it auto-equipped my other helmet because it was going to break. Okay. When attacked, gain resistance for two seconds, plus three armor. Bruh. You're like the most ins annoying thing here. You're, you're like 140. Three Ooh. Give some increased step height. Oh my god. Okay, the end of should die here. Oh, you have fire resistance. Let me grab. Oh, it went the other direction. Right. I feel like they should fix that. <laughs> and later, like, the, the particles for the Ender Dragon Egg go the opposite direction of where it actually teleports. And these are pretty nice boots. Plus one knockback resistance, 2.25 luck, 20 extra movement speed. It's got two sockets on it. And it's only a rare item. It's not even like, it's not even legendary armor. I need more enter and okay. And then I got leather boots from you. Gem up the samurai. What does that do? Um... Okay, well... It would just give me 22% extra movement speed if I put that on my boots. So, yeah, probably not. Oh my god, you need this... Hey, I got the inner dragon egg. Wait, what? You need the dragon egg now to make the tier 8? Oh, okay, that's not very nice. He's below 100 HP now. Okay, I definitely need to not wear those yet. I need to put on breaking on that. And if I can, I would like to put mending on it too, but I don't know if that's going to be possible. Dr. Jess. Why are you already angry at me? Oh, you broke my boots. Great. You have 43 armor points? Oh my god. Oh, 
Oh my god, you have thorns. You're about to break my chest plate with these thorns you have. A mythic apotheotic boss. Out, you broke my chest piece now. Those thorns do quite a lot of damage. Oh my god, you're absolutely destroying my armor. Can you... Oh right, without armor it gives me 16 armor points plus the extra one, so... Right. If my armor's breaking, I might as well take it all off because I get even more armor points. And you gave me a legendary... Diamond Helmet with Protection 5 and Breaking 6, Blast Protection 7, or Black, sorry, Blast Protection 6, 12.75 armor points, 14.5 extra max HP, 2 armor toughness, 5 luck, wait a minute, then that means that this was also a mythical weapon, dang, okay, so orange is mythical. Physical damage taken is reduced by 12%, and when I'm attacked, I get resistance for 6 seconds. That's huge. And this armor... Re re oh my god, this armor ign this armor re uh, ignores 50% of its own durability damage. It gives a 25% speed buff. And plus 5 luck. That is an insane helmet. And it's got 3 socket points. Bruh. That's actually insane. Oh, come on. No, don't put that on. I would love to put mending on this helmet, but I don't think I'm going to be able to with all of its enchantments. Come back. I'm wearing no armor, and yet I have almost as I have more armor than if I was wearing iron. Almost as much as if I was wearing diamond or netherite armor. It's crazy. Is that like 25? It's almost down to as much HP as me. Or actually, it's way below me. Jeez. My armor armor took a very massive beating. <laughs> eh, I couldn't survive a hit. No! Yeah. So much so that my freaking turtle helmet. No. Can't believe my turtle helmet almost broke from that. And all you did was give me a bundle and an an epic or a legendary. I don't know. It's got reforming nature's mend and reflect uh, repairs tools using aura. Question mark. Repairs the durability of items very slowly over time when in use. What? And it gives me plus 5 extra HP, plus 5.5 extra armor. 2.5 armor toughness, or 2.25. And it gives me knockback resist, and 
Upon block, it bleeds the opponent and poisons them. What? That's huge. That's quite insane. Okay. Well. Let me get like eight ender points real quick. There we go. Ooh, it's 1.25, so fine. Okay. <laughs> what? Wait. That is so much HP, dude. An extra 14 HP is so insane. of this iron and put that in there. That is a lot. Okay. Let's go ahead and collect ourselves. Titan Forged. Obtain a mythic item. Oh, I guess there is no legendary. It's mythic. Got two bundles from that. Enigmatic Legacy. We got two items from here. We got the Eye of the Nebula. And we got the Heart of the Golem for two extra of those. Okay, we got a loot bundle for that, we got a loot bundle for that, and a potion of visibility. We got a loot bundle for that, and a quote-unquote wand. And we got the horse flute. We got the ring of strength, we got the ring of speed. We got the ender dragon. We got free the ender, free the end, kill the ender dragon. There we go, dragon's breath, adventure, open a hundred of those, crazy. Adventure, alright, my, there we go. Whoa. Ah, but that takes netherite. I am definitely not close to that. We have 14? What? Oh my gosh, we have 8. Oh, that's insane. We have 23 loot bundles. I think the most I've ever opened at once was like 5? Or 8 or something? This is insane. And we have 64 of that. Okay, let's go and take that out, because we're going to need to smelt some gold. I have 19 gold already on me. How much? Okay, so it takes 16. It takes a stack of that, it takes 16. Yeah, it takes 32. Yeah, we have 18 extra diamonds. We have the 16 of that. We, we can easily get the four of those. There we go. there. Okay. No. Okay. What am I? Oh, I got Apotheos. Let's capture. Oh, get a loot bundle fragment. Cool. Wait, is that enough for another one? It is enough for another one. We have 24 loot bundles now.
droppers. How much extra iron do we have? Not a lot, only three. We have enough crying obsidian. Oh, okay. There's 30. We just need two more ingots. There's one. Let's grab out the iron ore, too. We have 24 more iron ore. Just dropped it. Okay. Well, now we have the Cory Plus, which is absolutely massive. That is a huge accomplishment right there. Um, let's go and go to sleep here, and then we can get set up this bad boy. Alrighty. I feel like we should go find a mountain, which actually I have a mountain right there, but that's not really- Whoa. Is that a coliseum over there? How have I never noticed that? Oh, no wonder I'm lagging quite a bit. Because that might render just is set to double. There we go. Now I'm getting a nice, probably about 50 FPS. Yeah. Okay. Let's go and head down to the surface. Huh? Yeah, I guess we can go up here. should be fine. Uh... I think we could probably stick with the basic size of this thing. We should definitely... Oh, wait. I should probably set a waypoint here. make a double chest for now. I should probably uh, 
sure that I could make that a double chest, which I can. Uh, I think a double iron chest would probably be enough. And then go ahead and grab you. Let's go down to the quarry plus. when the quarry plus was a lot faster than this. Look at this. It is now automatically mining. And it'll do this all the way down to bedrock. chunks here will always be chunk loaded which is super nice oh it's already got its first bit of ores coming up uh, yeah I'm gonna need Definitely gonna need it. Uh, definitely gonna need digital storage at some point and wireless item transport. I'm 100% gonna need wireless item transport at some point to make this better because this chest is actually gonna fill up really fast. We've already filled up over one layer already. And it hasn't even really done that much. But yeah, it'll do this as it'll do this all the way down to bedrock. It doesn't care about any water or lava. It'll keep going through all of that. And this is a passive way to generate cobblestone, diorite, and a site, uh, deep slate, and a bunch of other ores. Until we get to, like, mystical agriculture and, uh, until we get to, like, mystical agriculture and resourceful bees, where we can actually, we can farm the materials, these sort of, uh, this quarry here will be very, very handy.
Yeah. Those are for the RF, uh, for the RF tools quarry. Okay. But yeah, I could definitely do this at some point. It increases the speed of the quarry plus, cause right now it's kind of a bit slow. Because I mean, over the, the, the last time I tried using a quarry plus, it was probably about like eight to 10 times faster than what it is right now. So it kind of caught me off guard when it, this one's like so slow, even though it's at full power. And yeah, that would that would make a lot more sense that it it requires modules now to make it faster. Whereas originally it would basically be as fast as how much power you could give the thing. Jeez, it's already gotten 17 iron. What? That's crazy. Alrighty, well I guess we can leave that to do its thing and we can go and head on up here. And that's about an hour, so I guess we'll go ahead and open up all these loot bundles for the last bit of time. Alrighty, first let, let's go ahead and put that back there. I have 1923 free slots out of 20, about 2600. Because yeah, I did end up setting up I did end up setting up uh, yeah I did end up setting up a basically a storage terminal system it's basically to hold me off till I get to uh, refined storage get a bunch of uh, materials I definitely need a lot more materials before I start uh, refined storage. But, yeah, that's for a later time. So yeah, here we go. First one. Wow. I got an ME controller, a magnet, and a deconstructor. The ME controller not very much help is not very helpful because uh, I'm going to be using refined storage mostly because it's autom it's uh, automatic crafting is a whole lot easier and for me it's a lot more intuitive or to me it's a lot more intuitive and a lot more user friendly than AE2 is. AE2 has channels per cable and you can't exceed that amount of uh, connections per cable. So it, it kind of has a limitation on the size of what you can build. Whereas refined storage, you just attach a crafter to a cable and it works. You can add hundreds of, of uh, auto crafters on top of each other and it'll be perfectly fine. An EV trans transformer that converts uh oh oh it converts uh basically this is probably to convert uh uh what's it called industrial craft yeah it's to convert industrial craft power to forge energy we got ourselves a whoopee cushion <laughs> increases flatulence and a mining gadget mark too what that's huge looks like a friggin ray gun I have 
absolutely no way of charging this thing, but yeah, that's pretty cool. That, that put it on my head? Why? Oh, it goes in a curio slot, but I don't really need that right now, but yeah. And then we got ourselves a building scepter, which eh, is okay. We can actually go to artifacts and we collect another loot bundle for that. What I kind of really want is the night vision goggles, which I'm pretty sure I can get from this, considering I just got a whoopee cushion from it. Tree capitation. Oh, I got the, the buzz saw. Then we got a mining gadget fortune. Wait, I got one half of a tesseract? Yo, I didn't even know they had tesseracts in this mod pack, bro. Well, that's that's our wireless item transport right there. How expensive is it to make a, a tesser? What? I don't know how to spell it. Oh, I just couldn't see it. Oh, it's a diamond block, four ender pearls, and an obsidian? That's actually quite cheap. For how powerful that is. Not enough shielding. Oh, interesting. I got a mechanism. That's pretty cool. I got a power cell, energy cell, that's a lot of cells. And I got a hamburger. Give me that tiny potato bag. Uh, I'll put them up here. Yeah. Alright. Got a block of emeralds. A cloak of virtue. It's a body slot, right? Yeah. What in the world? What does a cloak of virtue even do? Just back in. Oh. Okay, so it's basically... It negates one hit. And then goes on cooldown for 10 seconds. Alrighty, pretty, pretty easy. Oh, and then a solid ender eye. Cool, that's actually, uh, I mean, it's not really helpful anymore, considering I already found the stronghold. A solar cell, a quarry. Um, and a copper to diamond chest upgrade. That's pretty cool. A ring of fire resistance. That's pretty nice. Attacks have a 25% chance to poison the target. And a powered anvil. Repairs items using... Wait. What? Oh my gosh. That's insane. I don't have to waste materials anymore to repair tools. Because it'll auto repair it for me. Oh, that's nice. Um, that does take a considerable amount of power though, but would you look at that, it's fully repaired. My necklace slots are up here. There we go. I don't need a fire resistance ring. Material generator and an auto crafter. Wait. Automatically crafts when given a redstone pole. Set a crafting recipe using a vanilla recipe book. Oh. 
and then there's the oh and then this thing just slowly regenerates mana Binary controller and a painting machine. Pretty cool. Power go increase what? Increases the attack damage of the wielder by plus four. And don't forget about the block of Terra Steel is absolutely huge. Oh, a block of Aquite. Um, Terra Steel. Oh, a Terra Steel helmet upgrade. Okay, interesting. We got the Rending Gale. Fly, push, and pull mobs, or shoot lightning. I don't understand how to use that, but cool. Right, yeah, power glove, nice. Requillery, another one. Nice. And a fire resistance ring. Critical hits pierce through armor and our hands. I really need to look up how do you make a research table? That's it? I should definitely make that at some point. Oh my gosh. What? I just got another right pick, uh, basically another right pickaxe, but just way better. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's now our new pickaxe because this is way better. And we got an elven mana spreader. That's actually really huge. Okay. What do we got? A horizonite axe. That's pretty cool. And it's got auto smelt. Okay. Not really crazy. That's cool to know that there's mob swaps in here. We can swap everything. Another ring of speed. Another elven mana spreader. Spellbinding cloth. I don't really know what that does. Chemical thrower. That's pretty cool. Alrighty. Next one. Oh, let's go. Huge. A digital miner? If I had silk touch, that would be so much better. Whoa, I got a golden hook. I don't think I have another hand slot, but I could probably put that into my, uh... I could probably put that into a curio slot. Bracelet. Ring. Charm. Hmm. But I like the digging claws really a lot. Cool spell. Mm. Okay, well, I guess eventually. I just got an osmium compressor too. Yeah, that's actually quite huge. 
I already have an Osmo Compressor, unfortunately, but... Wait... Does nothing itself that can be used to craft a Pressurite Spawner. Hmm. And an Air Cannon. An Obsidian Shield. Oh. Interesting. It does 11 attack damage, but it regens the uh, opponent. I'd rather use my Osmium Katana instead. Then we got a Steel Helmet. A Scepter for Water Infusion replaces nearby flowing water with Source Water. That's really good for creating water elevators. And last but not least, we have Venison Steak, an HDPE, and a Lapis Lizuli Pickaxe. Well, that's not all, because we have another loot bundle here. I don't think we'll get a loot... Oh, we did get a loot bundle there for getting the Osmo Compressor. And we'll get another one there. So, that's not all. We have three more. We got Elementium Boots, we got a Neptunium Helmet. Oh my gosh. We got a Treasure Loot Crate. That gave Amethyst Shards. We have a basic item collector, pretty cool. Tier 4 Dimensional Storage Stabilizer, Dimensional Cells, Penderite Scraps. A blazing flask. That's another relic, apparently. And a not so mysterious cube. I have no idea what that does. And we got another hamburger. We got a fluid grid, a protein bar, and a steak and potatoes. That's pretty huge. And because we got the blazing flask, we got one more. Which gave us a destruction catalyst. Can oh, uh, that's probably not. Nope. Unfortunately, that is not a thing here. Probably should be, but I guess I can't have everything. But that's pretty massive. I would, I should say, yeah. If you uh enjoy that episode if you enjoyed the episode make sure to leave a like hit the subscribe button for more content because i'll definitely be trying to post a lot more i've just taken a slight break but we're back and this will probably be up i don't know probably within the hour or two probably more like two three hours because encoding takes a while but yeah Make sure to go check out my other content if you want to see more. Most of it's pretty old until recently, but it's all somewhat decent content, so at least I should I at least I'd say so. So yeah, I'll see y'all in the next episode. Peace.